right, so uh, <laughs> welcome to Shanghala. My name is Duke, and uh, we are still grading some romance comics. And uh, <laughs> so, the last video, if you didn't, uh, if you didn't uh, watch it, uh, go back. It was fun. We got a little distracted with the uh, love quiz in one of these books, so we only ended up grading just one book <laughs> in the last video. We spent the whole twenty minutes taking the love quiz. <laughs> A 50-year-old man's uh, 1972 idea of <laughs> what girls think about love. Uh, it was fun. <laughs> and the girl turned out to be a little floozy. Because she actually, whoever owned that book originally, filled out the quiz. And uh, now, now we know all about her. <laughs> so let's carry on then with the rest of these books. And hopefully we won't get too distracted. Now this one... This one's got some problems. <laughs> it's not just that she's a Jezebel. <laughs> and we can never marry because it's her fault because she's a Jezebel. Ooh, ten things to look for in a man. <laughs> we might have another quiz. <laughs> but anyway, the things are wrong with this book. Uh, we've got what looks to be maybe a little slight water damage down here. There's some serious uh, color flaking there. We have this big fold here. There's a vertical crease here, so probably this cover was folded back. Fairly typical. We have some damage here on the edge, which is about where somebody would have been holding the book as they read it. And up here at the top, I don't know what's going on here. And hopefully I'm holding this on camera where you can see it, but... Um, did I even hit record? Yes, I did. Oh, that would have pissed me off. <laughs> Um, it, the damage is just right there. So I don't know if it got like dropped just in that corner or if somebody really muckled onto it there or, or, or what the issue is. Uh, so we're looking definite, uh, you know, low mid grade here. We're looking at uh, kind of a, uh, maybe even with that, a four or five. Whoops, I'm off camera. Um, four or five. Four or five. Well, let's look at the back cover. Back cover looks good. Somebody wrote on it. It's probably an arrival date. What do we got here? No, August, so July. So it's probably, I don't know what that's all about. July 3rd. Buy some wigs. <laughs> and again, it's an ad you would not have seen in Superman or Batman at the time. But, uh, you know, the, uh, the romance comics probably survived as long as they did because they were still selling ads. Uh, so... Uh, I want to look at the back cover. Now, here's that heavy legs uh, ad that was on the back cover of the last uh, last one, and longer nails in minutes for only a dollar ninety-eight. Quick, somebody figure out what that uh, translates to in twenty twenty dollars. Oh, this is cool. Um, this is uh, an ad for the Jack Kirby books in the Days of the Mob and Spirit World. Uh, and Kirby fans, so they're actually touting Kirby. So this is kind of in the age where they were just kind of starting to really push the creator over the creations. Can this romance be saved? So this is a, seems to be a contest uh, these books did, uh, in that because um, this something like this was in the last issue. They have a little story, and then you write in with uh, whether they're going to make it or not. Oh, look at that! A uh, this is kind of, I would say, I don't want to say rare. Um, come on, <laughs> dummy trim. <laughs> um, but black characters uh, in a uh, in uh, a DC comic. So this is like this is like way pre Black Lightning, and uh, I think she's a recurring character because did I see her somewhere else? Um, you know, she might have been. DC's first black recurring character. I thought I saw her on a uh, one of these other books. Or someone who looked like her. Right there. Paige Peterson. Se Set. Did I say 70s or 90s? Oh, no, just do's. Do's and don'ts of dating with Paige Peterson. Um, so I don't know. But that's interesting. 
Uh, and then more Kirby. They're really pushing Kirby here. The Kirby portfolio. I've never heard of this. Assembled from Jack Kirby's personal collection. Supersized pages of comic history. Six color paintings, giant size. Full color wraparound cover painting. I don't think I've ever seen this. Did they ever actually end up publishing this? Um, has anybody seen uh, DC's King Kirby portfolio? $4 would have been a kind of hefty at the time. Again, somebody convert that to $20, $20. I've never seen this on the uh, collector's market, the back issue market. I wonder if it was ever actually published. It's not available on newsstands. So I wonder how many of those they did. Um, hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Redhead. Wow, we got black girls, redheads, blondes. We got a little bit of everything in this book. Hey, she's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, she's a Jezebel, but hey, what are you going to do? Oh. <laughs> All right. So uh, I think this book is going to end up being a, a four or five because you got a little bit of water damage down here and you've got that damage up there. So, my God, these romances are going to take forever to get through, uh, because again, I'm only on, uh, I've only done one book and we're like six minutes in. Yes. <laughs> Romance comics are fun. <laughs> and this one's got a water spot right there and a little bit of moisture wrinkling on the bottom. Uh, again, a long vertical... Cree, so uh, girls apparently were not adverse to folding back the cover. And you've got some damage here. Oh, and we've got a, yeah, about an inch long rip right there. See that? So we are, we're down in the four range anyway. Oh, it's too bad. Eh, it's too bad. Not a very dynamic cover. Oh, wow. <laughs> How many girls do you think liked fishing in 1970? What is it? Let's take a look here. Oops, got to be careful opening that book. 1971. So, uh, that's an ad that appeared on, like, almost all comics of the time. Uh, so, let's take a look inside. Woodstock two timer. Yeah, you got a lot of Vinnie Coletta in a hurry inking, it looks like. That head looks like it was pasted on the body, like it had to be redrawn. Uh, so, centerfold looks good anyway. Do good girls lose out? Stretch wigs. 1098. Holy crap. 1098 was not cheap in uh, 1971. Well. So I guess the. I think this book is going to end up being a. Um, oh, we got another rip there. There's two of them. You get that long inch one and then about a quarter of an inch. And you've got the water spots. So I think we're probably going to end up uh, at about... Probably about a four. I mean, the the rip is ugly. The water spot, because it's right there in the white, really shows up. But the rest of the book isn't that bad. The rest of the book could be, you know, five, five, six, maybe... So I think we're going to end up at a four for that book. So first in comics, best in comics, DC Heartthrobs. And this would have been from probably, what, 72, 3? 72, 1972. So we've got some scuffing along here at the top. Uh, some ticks here, not too many, four or five. That corner's a little blunted. Some moderate blunting here. Right in here, we've got some bending a little bit. And again, right in kind of that mid edge is where you see a lot where people were holding the book. 
back when people actually read the comics they bought. And then this corner's been folded back. And I hope I'm on camera so you can actually see. Uh, we got that same wig ad on the back. Now, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this on the camera. But all along here, we've got some foxing. So that's, you know, some discoloration spotted that's kind of kind of the start of mold I mean technically I mean if if this book was kept in moist conditions that is where the mold would start right there so I don't know how well you can see that and if I get a little closer can you see it or will the focus go out completely I probably and the funny thing is is this book <laughs> <laughs> Poor girl. <laughs> is this a romance or a slapstick Three Stooges comedy? <laughs> Somebody really went all in on that. Um, so, <laughs> what was I saying? <laughs> uh, I was. Uh, that looks a little like Infantino. That's what that looks like a little bit. This whole thing seems like just a hodgepodge of, of different art styles. Um, but I think this book is going to be a 5-5. A five, five. I can't quite go to a 6 because, the, um, because of this foxing on the back. Um, and I probably should go down to a 5 maybe. Somebody will complain that I gave it a 5-5. Five, five. But the book, other than the, you know, the blunting here and here and a couple of ticks in there... A minor fold there. It's it's not that bad, you know. It's fairly presentable. Uh, so I think I am going to end up calling it a five five. All right, Millie the model. So Millie went through a, a kind of a paradigm shift here, where it um, she was uh, kind of your typical working girl, and kind of in the mold of Katie Keene, but then. Uh, they started ripping off, and this is Stan Goldberg, SG, who would uh, work for Archie Comics. They started ripping off Dan DiCarlo and turned Millie into kind of a, like an Archie comic. Like if you saw this on the stands, just from the art style, you might end up thinking that uh, this was an Archie. I mean, if you weren't quite clever enough to see Marvel Comics Group. Uh, so we get sort of a little light spine roll there. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know that it's quite enough to take off a grade. And we've got some fading there. Kind of a little fold there. Where it was kind of bent but not actually folded all the way back. But anyway, uh, Stan Goldberg, I don't know if he was doing any work for Archie at this time, but would certainly go on to be, and he actually signed it. Oh my God, Stan Lee is uh, still working on the uh, romance books, I mean on the uh, Millie books at this point. That's interesting. So I think I will have to tell the lister to make sure you put Stan Lee's name on, look, by Stan Lee. See, now somebody would see that by Stan Lee and think he drew it as well. I mean, look, does that, can anything look more Archie than that? Um, but yeah, anyway, Stan Goldberg would uh, end up uh, kind of replacing Dan DiCarlo when Dan retired and uh, become kind of the Archie artist for a long, long time. And you can see he definitely has who the hell is Sol oh, Solly B? I don't know who Solly B is. By Stan Lee and Solly B. Who the hell is Solly B? If you know who Solly B is, then please do say so in the comments below. Because I, I believe this is all Stan Goldberg. So I don't know who Solly B is. I'll have to look it up in the Grand Comics database. Uh... So everything looks nice and tight and clean inside. The paper quality is pretty good. Just kind of... See, and like they're all the same, but some of them just say by Stan Lee and some say by Stan and Solly B. I don't know what's up with that. So the biggest problem with this book is kind of this little beginning part of a spine roll. Um, although you do have some blunting up here at the top. Um, so I think... 
I think I'm going to call this a 5.5 five because it's not, you know, it would be an easy 6.6, six, six, well, maybe not a 6.5. But that spine roll is not really that bad at the top, just kind of really beginning at the bottom. Um, and it's not enough really, well, it kind of does displace the pages a little bit. Um, but I think I'm still going to give it a 5.5. Five. So what do you think? How, much, how many points would you take off for the spine roll? I'm going to give that spine roll a 5, I've decided. Um, it's not bad, but it's just, you know, bad enough, I guess. Always err on the side of caution. You'd rather have somebody think the grade is, you know, too low than too high. All so right. my love story. Oh, our love story. I'm sorry. It's our love story. I don't want to be selfish about it. Uh, and this one's a, well, this one's kind of rough. And the cover's detached from the bottom staple, as is the, and that top cover's barely attached. Uh, let's see. One, two, two wraps. So the cover and two wraps are detached from the top staple and that centerfold is looking like it's going to be a problem as well. Centerfold is detached from the top staple. So I think I'm going to go down to a four on this one um, because again you get some pretty heavy damage there with that staple problem. Some pretty heavy creasing there. That corner's all folded up. And then we got uh, stuff detached from both ends of the book. So, I'm going to call that one a four. So yeah, we'll be back uh, next time uh, with another grading video. Until then, keep reading comics, keep having fun. And as I always say at the end of one of these, good night, good luck, and please be good to each other.